what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's a rainy day in vancouver just got to the shop let's see what eli's up to so i'm attacking the super 73 today <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot of fun the first thing i usually do when i'm building an e-bike is install the front motor here's the motor that we're going to be using okay so here we are we test fitted the rim so now basically we're going to make sure the brake caliper fits in position against the disc and then from there we can start lining up torque mounts and bolting the rim in and for final fitment but there she is now we've got the bike on its two wheels upright motors in brakes in torque mounts pretty much mounted in just have to do the final clamps on the outside but i like to do that after i finish up the wiring here just tuck it all in nicely so now we're going to start working on the wiring um, I just placed the batteries on the bike and uh, found the good spot so the steering doesn't hit when you go back and forth. Wires have lots of clearance. So now I'll be running the wires through the original spots on the bike where Super 73 had them. Um, the only obvious difference is there's a motor on the front so this one will be um, coming from the front side. But it'll still go through the, the channeling, keep it all clean like I like to do it. and. Um, how Super 73 had it originally. And then underneath here, of course, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. This may be used as a cover still, but uh, we're definitely gonna have some more cool stuff underneath there. And um, hooking up the rear motor um, along with the rest of the stuff. There's some more wiring down here. And then along with that, we'll be installing the DC to DC converter from Grin Technologies. This one's adjustable, and uh, we're able to hook this up to the battery power and uh, reduce it down to 12 volts for all the lighting system and signals and whatnot. And now we're just finishing up uh, connecting the wires to both batteries. So both batteries um, running 36 volt batteries. Uh, the batteries are right here. And um, these two batteries joined together will be 72 volts. And um, that will come out the back side over here. Uh, 72 volts right there. So here's the junction for the DC to DC converter. So this will take the 36 volts back to the back, convert it uh, to 12 volts for the lighting system and whatever else. And so then it'll come back towards the front and power up the switches and signal lights. We've got the signals working, headlights working, brake lights working. These vendors are installed. I'm just finishing doing the seat adjustments. We got this new seat. We're also putting on, get rid of the original Super 73 seat over here. Just to give you an example of the difference, we'll just put these guys side by side for a second. And I'll show you. So you can see like the stiffness, super stiff, right? Like, I don't know. Riding on that's going to be pretty hard, right? But you see this one, super soft, really cushy. Feels even comfy just to push my hand on it. So I did try it out on there and it feels awesome. Um, so what I also I did is I made some new holes on the top of the deck. So the seat now sits further back and uh, way better seating position. Also for the passenger too. And it still comes totally to the edge of the back of the, the metal support. So there's nothing hanging off or anything like that. Just a better seating position overall. And also with the, the higher rise on the handlebar, this will give the rider a better seating position because uh, he is also tall like I am. So now we've got batteries in, controllers in, wires are all in. I left the cover off for now, just so that we can make sure everything is um, working properly and so that I can plug in the um, phase runner software uh, cables so I can program everything. And now um, the customer came in yesterday and he dropped off one more thing. So let's get this put on too. It's gonna go in the front, front rack setup. And at the same time, I'll be finishing tightening up the uh, lower torque mounts and uh, put these in together with that. And then that'll be it, off, and off to the tuning. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how both motors run simultaneously um, with the one throttle. 
So the one throttle is connected to the two phase runner controllers. Now the two phase runner controllers, one goes to the rear, one goes to the front. But the problem here is that when you actually hit the throttle and the signal goes out, mating the two motor speeds and styles is a little bit tricky. So what I've done here, as you can see when I hit the throttle, you'll see the two motors activate almost at the same time, producing the right feeling for when you're riding. So now also the front motor has regenerative braking on this one, the rear doesn't. So the bike will slow down much faster than it used to and have much more control. I'll show you here with the regen braking. So now you accelerate. And that's how fast it'll stop. Now that it's fully tuned, I'm gonna unplug the um, data cable from the phase runner controller, the last one that I did, so both of them have one. And now I'm gonna clean up the wires a bit and put the cover back on and take it for a test ride and get ready for the customer to come pick it up. We'll do a little bit of video when he comes. Of course, he's gonna be blown away by this thing. And um, I think everybody else who has a Super 73 um, is gonna really, really, really like this setup. Um, and if you guys have any questions and wanna buy any parts, just give me a call and uh, we can set stuff up for you. Here it is, all finished. Adjusted the computers. Everything's good to go. Gonna do some test riding tomorrow. It's a bit dark and wet out today. You can see under here the two phase runners, all mounted nice. Definitely not a Super 73 no more. You got the EDC on there, the new seat, two bars. Let's try out the signals. There we go, right? It's going right, that's for sure. Going left? Yeah, it's going left. Okay. Headlight switch, horn. There it is. Okay, so I'm just coming out of this underground parking lot. You can see it's a nice, quite steep grade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the gate and I'm gonna very, very slowly creep up the hill. I'm gonna show you how good it is. Okay, here we go. Can you see how slow I'm going? You can actually hear the motors working so nicely together and just pushing up me this hill so easy. Look at this. Like it was nothing. Probably hardly using much power too compared to trying to do it with just one motor. Okay, we're back on the road now. Left the bat cave. Do some ripping here. Had to watch the grounds a little bit slippery from all the salt that was on the ground. We just had snow here, so it's quite cold out right now, but nothing to it but to do it. Here we go. And that's with one hand, so you can see how stable it is, even just with one hand. <laughs> really? That's the best way to test it, right? <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. 
How was how, how it compared to before? Way better now. <laughs> Way better than before. How is it? How is it compared to the uh, Super Seventy Three you just wrote? Much wrote? more power. Much more? Yeah, much more powerful now for sure. And that was with both you guys on there. Yes. Uh, well, how did it go up the hill? Good. Really good. <laughs> uh, I can feel the power now. Good. <laughs> more fun or what? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Especially going up the hill because before when we went up the hill, it was like uh, I feel like there's a slight there's a slight delay as yeah. you throttle. But in this one, it's just response is very fast. Yeah. Yeah, okay guys just finished the dual motor super 73 this is probably one of the first ones in the world hope you enjoy it if you like this bike give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next one peace